this before and I'll say it again. I, I genuinely believe Jake Paul is about to make like global superstardom. The reason being is because of stuff like this. It, it's not that he beat Ben Askren. It's that he did it in the first round. No matter how... Because we could all say it's rigged because it felt rigged. It looked rigged. Only because, yes, Ben legitimately got like, knocked down. But the thing was simple. Why did the ref wave it off so quickly? But other fights, you didn't wave it off. That looked like... that. I don't know could have been waved off. Frank Mears fight could have been waved off more than Ben Askren. I'm sorry. I know he didn't go down, but at least my man was still ready to continue. But hey, it's fine. It's fine. I, I, I guess, I guess, I guess they were just looking at it. I don't even know how to even describe it, but at the end of the day, he won. He won. Congrats to him still. It, it's scary because of the aftermath is always the scariest part to me. Like, after he beat Anissa and Gib, it was a sad moment on the internet. A lot of people that either liked or didn't like him was kind of like, oh, it was like, rest in peace to Gib's career. Like, everyone, let's take a moment of silence for Gib type stuff. And, and now, when he beat Nate Robinson, it was like the world was angry and they were like, mm, no. No, 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 no. We can't allow this. Everyone, come up in arms. Who's going to beat up Jake Paul? Like, everyone wanted him. And then Ben Askren steps up to the plate. And Ben Askren did great. I'm not going to I'm not gonna front. Ben Askren did great for the time that he had. I, I genuinely believe the fight would have carried on. Ben would have, would have already, because already just in a little short time, Ben was in the fight. He plucked holes in Jake's game. He did. And I think if the fight would have continued, he would have plucked more holes in it and it would have exposed Jake a little bit more and Jake would have had something more to work on. But sadly, the fight ends shortly before Jake is able to put in dangerous situation to be able to, I don't know, critique how he could handle it. It's fine. It's fine. Who is this next fight? I don't know. A lot of people now, or like they did for Nate Robinson, are coming up. Saying that I'm next, I'll fight him, I'll fight him. You will talk to all that, now let's go. A lot of people are kind of leaning towards... Because you guys weren't really specific weren't really specific on what you wanted. Let's be real. After the Deji fight, everyone was like, eh, fight KSI. Then uh, Nissan Gib was hyped and everything. So they were like, fight Nissan Gib. So he fought Nissan Gib. And then everyone was like, fight a real athlete. And he fought Nate Robinson. And he, as you can see... He memed a Nissan Gibb, he, he memed Nate Robinson, and they were like, fight a real fighter, he fights an MMA fighter on top of that. No matter what happens in that fight, I, I, I'm i sorry to say, I'm, I'm going to say this, I don't like the ref decision. I'm going to be real with you all. Yes, I knew Jake was going to win, but in the way he did it is the part that sucks the most to me, is that Bink is knocked down one time, gets up. And then they're like, ah, the fight's waved off. And the look on defeat on Ben's face of like, I could have kept going. Like, I know it sucked, but this is, this is kind of scary type stuff. It's like, this is kind of a little bit of a reason why, I don't know. I don't know, bro. This, this would be a reason that some people don't want to fight. <laughs> like, a lot of people don't want to get unnecessarily waved off. Because <laughs> I didn't... It just sucks. It sucks only because it got waved off too early, in my personal opinion. It's going to sit with me. It's going to haunt me for a, a few more days of, like, this fight got waved off way too early. And I can't wait for the load of memes to just hit off the, the fight getting waved off early. People already saying that the ref was paid off. MMA fighters talking about it, saying it, the, the entire event was stupid. It was. I'm sorry. It was way too much music for me then for this short main event. I'm sorry disaster you could have let the fight carry on you could have let ben get legitimately knocked out instead of this waved off no 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 you could we could have had a legitimate knockout legitimate ko of ben Askren, and then and then we could have had fun with it but no we get whatever this is and i'm kind of upset because i really wanted jake to get a defining win not a 
ref thought the fighter couldn't continue type stuff. Then Askren said he's going to leave, and that's what he did. He walks off with his family, and he's going to enjoy the time that he has with his family. Kudos to him. But now, the next big thing is who is next for him? Who is next for Jake Paul? Joella was saying KSI, and I'm saying we're past. I think, personally, I still think we're past the KSI fight. I think we're past, I think if he would have fought him after Nissan Gibb would have been the perfect time for him. After Nate Robinson would have been a great time also, but Ben Askren, I don't think Jake, I don't think Jake should fight KSI at this point. Unless KSI, like I said, comes back out of nowhere and goes on an absolute tear against a bunch of other high-level competitors. And he does in devastating fashion to prove that he's a top dog or he's someone that should be recognized personally. But until then, I, I don't, I don't see it coming. I don't like. A lot of people were saying, I, I'm sorry. When when I, I saw it on Joe Willis' um Instagram, and I was like, he's like, who wins? Like kids. I'm like, no, I'm not about to answer that. I'm like saying, well, how about you fight him? And then, like don't don't send don't send him out there to do it. Why'd you do it, my guy? Like you'll be more equipped for equipped <laughs> equipped for it. But besides that. It, that's what happened. It, it's a weird end. Jake still won. Proud of him for winning, though. Really wanted him to win. Thought he's going to win in, like, a later round. But, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Um, hey, at least he can't say he never been hit. Because, <laughs> you know, he ran with that for a good while. He, yeah, you got hit. One good time. I mean, hit him with one good one. Oh, he hit him with one good one I didn't see coming. When he hit him, I was like... Being connected a shot that wasn't that weird little thing that he did when he runs forward because he did that he did he did it a few times he did like twice in a fight and um I was scared for him to get that overhand right but he took that overhand right like he was nothing the first time at least then it was like he loaded up for it a lot more times and what's name just ducked it was like no that's not gonna work nope that's not gonna work and I think that's really good for Jake is to fight someone that he can load up his, his best shot and they could make him, like, expose him. It, I, I, I said that I don't think he's ready for, like, I don't know, a bigger fight than this. Because this fight, because of how it went down, you would say he has the power to do so. But I don't think he has the skill base to be able to step up he probably has the chin. He probably has the power to be able to be a good boxer, to step up against real high-level competitors. Whoever his next fight is, whenever it's confirmed, it could be Dylan Dennis. I think that'll be a, I'd be, I think that'll be a nice little easy win for Jake. That'd be a nice easy. I don't see that being a real high-level competitive fight. I don't at all. I think, I think if it is a high-level competitive fight, it's only because Dylan Dennis tried to make it that way. Like, I think, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm probably even more hyped for the fight also. I hope Trill is not doing it again. No. I'm sorry. I don't want to watch that. It was horribly fun. I wasted so much phone battery. Like, five hours of a concert, bro. Of a concert. I thought I was here for a boxing match. I didn't think I was here for a concert. The amount of concerts they did was just... And then it went back to back. And then, ugh... <sighs> but anyways, all I'm saying is this. Congratulations to Jake. But who would be a good fight for Jake Paul is the big question. I don't know who could fight him. Because I don't want him... I want him to fight an actual boxer now. So at this point, once he shuts up the critics... Unless he does it kind of like he did for like the Ben Askren fight. And he fights someone that's a real boxer. But they're not, you know... Oh, what's the name? They're not... What, what's it called? They're not... Um... Who am I thinking of? They're not, uh... You know, like... They're not really... They're known, but they're not, like... That known for, like, being that darn guy. Like, that guy. Like, I, I think that would be a good... I think some a fight like that would be really nice for him. I don't know who... 
Because anyone that I, that comes to mind, I think would brutally fuck up Jake. And that's the thing. I I want the man to succeed to keep going with this. I want him to have this Conor McGregor, this big Conor McGregor fight. I do. I, do I want to see him beat Conor? I don't think he is at the in particular moment, but I do think that he could beat Conor if he has enough time to keep going. I know, celebrate for your next two, three weeks. I, I really don't want to see Jake... Um, in a in a ring for another two three weeks. I don't want to see him say I'm back in camp already. I I want to see him go. I want to see him show the amazing food he's about to. I want to see him drive the Lambo, and, and do like dumb stuff like that. Like enjoy your time of not fighting, of not being in the ring. That's what I'm. That's what I want to see. I want to see the man get a beer belly in a matter of days. Just get overweight just to burn it off as soon as he gets back in there. That's what I want to see from Jake because he deserves it. He deserves the biggest break at the particular moment on the work he's done. Who's next? I, I still don't know because I could try and find somebody. But the end of the day is, I said fine, like I'm actually like someone important. Um, I could try and look it up. We could try, we could all look for someone. We could all think of someone. We could spam it in the chat and whatever. I don't know who would be good for him because a KSI fight, is he's above. Uh, a McGregor fight, I don't think he's fully ready for. A real boxer depends upon who it is. If it's a low level, like I'm talking another Ben Askren type fighter, then yeah, I think so. DC said that he's gonna, that he gets to pretend to be a real fighter a little bit longer. If he fights, if he's fighting like he is now against an actual boxer, I do believe we're going to have we're going to be able to see this amazing chin of jake's i do believe so because i didn't think ben was going to put a bunch of a threat to him but ben did good for the time he had i'm just sticking with that um but the belt still looks stupid on him i'm sorry the black one looks actually nice the red one looks fucking stupid just it being black kind of like oh yeah it's kind of dope but the the red one was like, eh, that could have been like the secondary. That could have been a secondary title. That could have been like a pre-show title. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I do believe that after all this is said and done, when, whenever, he's, whenever he decides to put down the gloves, he will be known for this. And this will be a great thing for Jake. And... Kudos to him. Kudos to him, bro. Keep going, my guy. Um, the only downside I can see is if he takes on a bigger fighter that he just... Like Mayweather. I, I, I know for a fact. I'm sorry. I do believe Jake has this great skill, but I don't think he has a Canelo Alvarez-type ability to be able to beat him. And that's another fight I don't want to see. So for anyone who's going to like try to put Jake down quick type stuff, I don't think he should fight them. Like, I don't think he should fight Ryan Garcia. Um, you know what? F it. He can't fight none of the four of the tops. He can't fight none of those four. None of them. None. Of, he can't fight none of them. To me, if he know, I said his name wrong and I'm just going to keep going. He can't fight none of them suckers. No. I would suggest he fight someone like... I, I can't think of a fighter right now. I can't think of a boxer that's low-level that doesn't really have that great of a hand speed that's in his weight class that would basically be an easy fight because that's what he needs. He needs easy fights like Ben Askren. He needs more of those because he needs to build that amateur career first before stepping up to a McGregor fight because if he wants to claim McGregor easily, because I do believe if he fights McGregor, McGregor probably would treat him like he did Floyd you know, he probably may not look like he's a bad mother sucker, but at the end of the day, he may be. And if anyone does it, don't let Triller do it. I'm sorry. No, Triller. If you guys, if, if your riffs and your stuff is going to be that bad on production value, I'm good. I'm good. I know I probably shouldn't be talking about Triller like that, but it was only because it was. It was like mainly a concert and the fights that were going on. The commentary, I don't have a problem with the commentary. That's fine. I mean, commentary is funny. That's cool. That's dope. Commentary is forward. But the problem is... 
when a fight's going on, why would you cut away while the, why the, we're not talking about, like, they sitting in the corners, like, the fight is, like, it's a few more seconds in the fight, you're cutting away from it just to show us handshakes and dabs and stuff, yay, it's what I want to see, it's what I want to see, the I want to see what the commentary is doing when, when the fight is still actively going on, it's not a knockdown that happened and then they started scoring, <sighs> it's fine, it's fine. Um, uh, he's not a, Ben's not a sore loser. Thank God he's not. Because if he was, this would, he would look very stupid right now. Other than that, um, congratulations to Jake Steele. Whoever's next for Jake is whoever's next. Um, whenever we get a confirmed fight from Jake, I, like I said, I don't expect for another two, three weeks of it. Month, maybe. Of, like, no fight news for Jake. Outside of, like, people calling him out. Um, I, it, it will scare me if he does take on a bigger fight, like a big fight, like a fighter that there is zero fucking chance that he has a chance of winning. And if he does, it, they have to be sick and nearly dying for him to win. And even then, it would be a rare chance type stuff. Like, I, I don't want him to have, like, no bigger fight like that. Because at least not right now.